Investing in real estate is one of the best decisions that you can ever make when it comes to your investment platform or portfolio. However, it does not mean that all investments in terms of real estate is great. That is why in this video, I would like to share three specific considerations before you will make your very first real estate investment. The first one is what you call objective. What we mean by that is when you are investing in a certain real estate, there are two ways for you to earn money. The first one is capital gains. When you bought a certain property and you plan to sell it in the future, whatever is your profit margin, that is your capital gains. The second one is cash flow. Instead of you selling your property, what you can do is have it rented out. And since the tenant is over there, he, he or she will have to pay you for renting your space or for your property. And the good thing about cash flow is that while you are earning money on a monthly basis, your property is also increasing in value as time flies. When we talk about objective, you have to understand before you bought or you buy a certain property, you have to think, why am I buying this? What's the reason? What's the intent? Is it for you to sell it in the future or is it for you to earn money on a monthly basis through cash flow? The second one is location. If you notice, most of the valuable real estate market in the world, not just in the Philippines, is that they are located in a, situ in a position that has a lot of good scenery. For example, tourist spots, it may be near school, it may be near a hotel, or something where the area is developing or developed. So when you are investing in real estate, you have to consider whether or not the location that you are planning to invest on is really good for you or not. Because when the time comes, that specific property will also increase in value the better the location is. The third one is operational efficiency. Obviously, when you have a real estate and a property, it has to look good, just like this one, right? Maintaining it is also a different story. You have to look for tenants, you need to market it, you need to manage your new unit in order for you to earn good money out of it. So you have to understand that buying real estate is a good thing, maintaining and running it is another thing. As you can see, real estate investing is only good if you know what you are doing, right? So all of the considerations that I just mentioned, it's easier said than done. But the good thing about it is that Anchorland has a project here in Davos City called 202 Peak Lane Service Residences. It is located in front of Ateneo de Davao University, which is one of the biggest schools here in Davao. At the same time, it's a walking distance from Marco Polo Hotel. That alone is a huge factor in terms of potential capital appreciation and rental demand. The rental-ready features and advanced technology allows us to operate it more efficiently, such as its air purification system, digital lock set, and online property management system. On top of that, we can also maximize their leasing program that allows us investors to operate our property more efficiently. In fact, there are three features that we can maximize. The first one is integrated room automation. Basically, when we have a tenant, we don't have to go there because it is already automated, right? It's more convenient for us investors. The second one is what they call hotel management system. So obviously, when we want to market our property, we, it has to be good, it has to look good. That is the purpose of the hotel management system that they have in place. And the third one is the minimum guaranteed income of 3%. That's really the huge factor and the key. And the good thing about it is that if the market, if it performs better, we can actually earn more. Okay, but regardless, we already have a property that allows us to generate cash flow guaranteed. So I'm pretty sure that you're curious about this project of theirs. So that is why we put their website in the comment section so that you can check them out and you can ask for a quotation, right? But I'm also curious about your thoughts in real estate investment. That is why the question of the day is, what should we consider when investing in real estate? Let us know in the comment section. And thank you so much for watching this video.